What's up guys? Welcome back to Microbe Fishing here on YouTube. Today, I don't know if you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a jig only challenge. Now, I have a couple of jigs that I can throw, but there's one in particular and it's 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 kind of a smaller jig, about that big, with kind of a weird trailer on it, or with a weird uh, bait on it, that I've never tried before and I've never seen it before, but a few weeks ago when I bought a mystery tackle box, I got both of these items. So I really want to see how well they work together and seeing as how the biggest fish that I've caught as of late is out of that super grassy pond. That's exactly where I'm going to be going. Just in case that one doesn't work, I do have a couple of Betsy bugs that I will be throwing uh, some lures on as well and seeing if those will do me any better. So, uh... You may have also noticed that the video and the audio quality is better on this video than the last video because I finally figured out how to work my phone camera. So we're back to the phone, at least for now, until I can get a proper GoPro. And uh, yeah, we'll see how today goes, but I will see you at the water. All right, so here we are. From the looks of it, it may have actually cleared up a little. But I can kind of see, I've already seen a couple of fish up top, but this is going to be the uh, deal we're using today. I got a little bit of grass on that, but this is going to be the jig setup we're going to be using uh, mostly today. And then if this doesn't get me anything after a little while, then we'll go ahead and uh, switch up to the Bitsy Bug and see if we get any, any luck with that. But... See, like there's already some fish. Ah! 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 Woo! Got one! <laughs> Woo! Probably about another probably about a one pounder Whew. all right All right, so we're back out. Re-rigged, I got a new jig. Got a, got a different head on it, the whole nines. This one's white and chartreuse. Best for clear, clearer water, but this may be just clear enough that it'll work. Well, that's mine, 
Y'all need to get your discs, you're good. Huh? Said if you need to get your discs. We're debating on getting in or not. Mine's floating here. Mine's, mine's underwater, so there's no guarantee I'd even get it back. Yeah, I saw yours hit. Do you think it's over there? I know it is. Buddy. You're good. At least now I know how deep it is. It's pretty deep. I didn't think it was that deep. I didn't either with as low as the water is. <laughs> all right so we are back it is now a couple hours later uh went home rested a little bit because i was hurting pretty bad and i went ahead and did a little more research and realized that while the methods i was using can work they weren't the best methods so what i went ahead and did is I trimmed down the skirt on here. Find where my camera's at. I trimmed down the skirt and I changed my trailer. So now I've got a little curly tail chartreuse uh, worm on here for a trailer since it is a white and chartreuse jig. And I believe, because I because I forget what this what kind of jig this was. I believe this is a, a type of swim jig. So the 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 hope is that now with a different presentation that it'll kind of catch the bass's attention a little bit and i might be able to get some more bites but you know we'll see what happens It'd be so cool if like a bass came out and i was able to kind of watch him eat it
How did that happen? What the frick, man? Like, I wasn't even, like, caught on anything. I li it literally just snapped. Oh, for a sec, I thought I missed one. I was about to get really mad at myself. Oh, I have no idea how that happened, but that is pretty irritating. Oh! Hey, hey. Look at that, hooked right on the bottom. I am still recording, look at that. Not bad, that's probably not even a one pound, but hey, a fish is a fish. They're definitely eating live bait, they got nice sharp teeth. I think that's a, uh, I think there's shad in here. All right. So I am back at the disc golf course. I always seem to find myself back here. No promises on catching anything, but you know, we'll see what happens. I'm starting here in the shade. For one, because it's hot. And two, this just seems like a good place to start. You know, if there's a chance... Oh, did not mean to do that either.
Well, if you want, want a tutorial on how to get out a really bad bird nest, Watch carefully. Just pull till you feel the tension of the knot and then grab a hold of that knot and pull it out and that'll pull it loose. Uh. It's getting darker, this water's a little murky so I went ahead through on this Betsy bug with a paddle tail. I'm gonna see if I can get anything over here. Ooh. How did I miss that hook set? That was, oh my God. He literally, oh. He literally started eating it as soon as it hit the water. See if I can get him to eat it again. Got it. Oh, snap, Ola. Whew. Talk about a baby. Better get you back in. Let you heal that up. I think I may be snagged. <sighs> Caught a trash bag. All right, there's one more that way. Whew. 
Look at that. And that one actually ate it. Just the baby. All right. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for today's video. All in all, not too bad, not too bad. I stuck to my guns and threw only jigs. And honestly, I've done worse. Fished a little later than I normally do. That was nice. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. So, um, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if there's another challenge you want to see or if you just want to see my, you know, if I can catch bigger bass, you know, let me know what you want underneath. Uh, if you want made it to this point of the video, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button, enable all notifications, just tap the bell, click one up, and uh, I will see you next week.